Hello, hello everybody, this is Grimyaz, bringing you Beholder 2 Beta Demo. Um, some of you guys probably remember Beholder 1. It was a very cool, very stylish, uh, spying game. Where you lived in this totalitarian state, and you were a landlord that was supposed to spy on its residents for the state. And now the second game is that. I'm not exactly too sure when this one takes place, actually. I don't know if it's during Carl's story or after Carl's story, but as you know, just by spying on its residents alone, Carl changed the fate of a nation just by his choices. And this is the second game. This is a different story altogether. This, this takes place, um, I think, in the office of the ministry, where you are a worker and you're supposed to find something about your father, who has disappeared working there. So, you know, it's probably not looking good for him. Anyways, without further ado, guys, let's get started on Beholder 2 Beta. Transfer to the Ministry Approach. Get to work as soon as you arrive in Helmer. Jay Cunningham. P.S. Your father is dead. More info than we meet. Okay, well, that explains that he's dead. <laughs> no need to search for him anymore. Hi, guess you're the one I'm waiting for. My name is George Hennets. Nice to meet you. Evan. Uh, you must be a big shot. Evan, right? Why? I've been with the ministry for 8 years, 4 months, and 12 days. In that time, I processed 18,342 applications and 1,629 cups of coffee and witnessed 284 incidents of civil disorder. Now ask me how many times I got sent to a welcome a new employee on his first day. How many? Zero, Evan. Zilch. Not even once all those 3,052 3, days. So, you gotta be a big deal, right? <sighs> oh, I... I don't know. I guess. I think you got me mixed up with someone else. I'm here to be a simple clerk. My name is Evan Redgrave. Redgrave? As in... Redgrave? Redgrave? Oh god, your father! Hmm. Go on, Emnitz. What do you want to say? My deepest condolences. I can't, Im can't imagine what you must be feeling right now. And to think, I just saw him 58 hours and 23 minutes before he... Before his death. You weren't that close. To be honest... We haven't talked for a decade. I didn't even know he worked here until yesterday. He didn't just work here. Your father was one of the most respected people in the ministry. One of the top management. And the most amazing thing is he never looked down on subordinates. He was an open and honest man. What happened? Did police make any headway? We weren't told much. So I only have a fact or two. The rest is gossip and fantasies on daft of daft employees. What are the facts? 47 hours and 23 minutes ago, your father fell out of the ministry's top floor window. He fell down 37 floors, hit the pavement, and died on the spot. Well, thank you for the sugar coat explanation. The law enforcement is working on finding out what happened and why. At least, that's what we are told. That's not much. Perhaps I have some important info on your father's death, but it's best to discuss it somewhere quiet after I instruct you and show you your, your desk. Because, you know, priorities! Ready for your first day at the ministry? Let's go. Yeah, let's go, hooray! Ooh, there's a. So, yeah, just saw him. Like, the style has changed a little bit. As you can see, it's more 3D now. The ministry building is rightfully constructed to be one of the most beautiful and fully featured structures in the country. See for yourself. 37 floors, over 226 meters, 12,742 offices, and over 325,000 visitors a day. God damn! Holy shit, that's actually a lot of fucking visitors! A day! Wow! Okay. Note the structure of the wise leader of the square. It took 5,500 tons of concrete and 2,400 tons of metal to make it. The statue weighs over 8,000 tons. <laughs> Jesus. To build it, we had to cancel the construction of 80 kindergartens and hospitals. Yeah, priorities because, you know, you have to statue, have a statue for a giant ass douche. You just do. Yeah. Impressive, isn't it? Not really. But okay, I think it would have been better to build a hospital in the kindergartens and maybe, you know, throw them in a high school while you're at it. Because education is important. Or else that happens. 
Your father died here, on the cold in different payments. Now it's the favorite spot for gossipers. You can eavesdrop, even though you're not likely to hear anything nice or useful. However, you should get used to it. Job specifics. No matter what position you're in, you got to listen in. Notice everything and report to the higher-ups. Oh, wow, that's cool. So we can actually listen to gossip and report them. Can we, like... Oh, so that's gonna take... Ah, okay, cool. What happened here? I've been bringing reports to the Ministry of Distribution for three days. I missed everything. They say Redgrave fell out of a window yesterday. Do we know who he was? Of course I do. He was one of the bigwigs. How could something like this happen? No idea. You better not dwell on it. So that pretty much... I think... Is it that was only 10 minutes or 10 seconds? I think that was 10 minutes. Yeah. That's so the time in advance. So that's cool. By listening to rumors... So some rumors might be a waste... Waste of your time. That's... I like this, alright. So a lot of new features added in. And like I said, graphics have changed slightly as well. It's more 3D now. Beholder 1 was more 2D. And you can see like... Evan, well, he can actually go a little diagonally. Yeah. <laughs> Carl couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, you told me, dude. Thanks. What are, what are these guys saying? No, no, these guys. He's talking about his dog. Can I not listen to them? Okay, there we go. Uh, Torin saw him fall right from the top floor, he says. First, some shards of glass came running down and then... Holy shit, heads must have rolled, huh? Uh, no, Phil. I was quiet. They declared a morning period as usual. And that's even scarier, you know? Ministers just don't drop out of windows every day. There must be a reason. Uh, Keep it down. I want to take the little drop out the window, too? Don't say that. I didn't... I mean, uh, let's get out of here. Wow. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing about totalitarian states. People just fall out of windows for no reason at all, I guess. Ooh. Ministry of safety is a separate reason to be proud. The security guard is your best friend here, especially when you get along. Our guards have prevented 985 terrorist acts this year alone. That's almost four attempts a day. So just in this case, carry cash and don't ruin their stats, if you know what I mean. Oh, uh, so could you like make friends with them then? Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me. Oh, I want to make friends with you, buddy. Hey, hey, you want to be my friend? No? Oh, no. Well, maybe you can be friends later. Yeah, yeah. You told me, George. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. I got. I got the situation handled. Cool. So we can't talk to these guys yet. Green lights. Oh look, some guy has a red light. Oh look, someone got caught. New technology guarding humanity. Ouch! The newly developed optic fiber connects these frames within Ministry Register. Connection speed of 10 gigabits per second. Any prohibited item will be detected at once. We spent over 18... 180 million on developing this... God damn! On a metal detector?! Though <laughs> you can always bypass the frame, of course. If you butter up the security. Yeah, you, you kind of want to be security's friend, considering they'll do that to you. Ouch! That looked like it hurts. Let's see what these guys are talking about. So the counter actually counts down, that goes up, like time. I think this is just like... I do, so we have 8 hours in which we can spend here, or 8 hours and 30 minutes. I forgot to access go to my terminal. What am I to do now? It escapes me. What if someone else remembers it? Oh, what a nuisance. Like I said before, there's 37 floors and twice that much underground. At least, according to official data. The higher the floor, the better the job. If you work hard, you might take it to the top. You might make it to the top. But keep in mind, lots of people are trying to get promoted, so there's some stiff competition. What would people do for a promotion? Some set their co-workers up. Some suck up to the bosses. Some knockheads even attempt to career progression by working hard. <laughs> right? <laughs> Real people! The way it's all set up, it's getting anywhere by working hard is next to impossible. So I believe a guy with your last name should have no issue moving up. One day he'll get promoted and enter that elevator, and everyone else will be jealous. How about you? You gonna you gonna support me? Or maybe he'll be jealous too. I feel like George will one day try to take me down. You should always remember why we're here, and thanks to what or who. That's where we hold general meetings. They're usually pretty mundane. 
people getting rewarded or reprimanded. Sometimes we also publicly condemn the actions of our neighbor state. Some smart ass suggested we call those meetings five minutes of hatred, but as far as I know, got rid of at once and couldn't ever suggest anything again. I'm guessing he was dead, that's why. We also sing anthems sometimes. For example, this month I sang the main state anthem 426 times. Wow, that's a lot. This month. A month has 30 days, so that's a lot of that's a lot of anthem singing in a day. I feel like you could actually get more work done if you just didn't sing the anthem at all. Correct? Right? I can't do anything with that. So we can't do anything right now while we're following George. Okay, that makes sense. Oh my lord! The ministry's first floor area is 444,000 4, square meters. Incredible, isn't it? 440,000 square meters of bureaucratic heaven. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's heaven, all right. I mean, if I died and went to the afterlife and there was like a heaven, I would assume this is what heaven would be like—a bureaucratic shit place with, you know. Like this, where people get beat up for triggering metal detectors. See those lines? Every single person standing there has come here with a problem. Whether it's a real issue or not, it isn't up to us to decide. Our job is to send people to the right department. But it's important not to be overachiever. We don't want people thinking the ministry doesn't have anything better to do. So you want me to work mediocre? Okay, I, I can do that. Oh, whoa. This dude is a klutz, always drops stuff. Keep forgetting his name. You can help him if you want, but helping others isn't something we usually do around here. Many of them here won't miss a chance at a trip or miss a chance to trip or backstab you. And I wish I could say it's just a figure of speech, but well, it's up to you to what to do. I'm gonna help him out, man. I'm not gonna be a douche like everybody here. <laughs> yes, of course. Let's all kick Morris. Who hasn't kicked Morris today yet? I already had my coffee poured on my head and a pen put on my feet. Isn't it so funny to push clumsy Morris the doormat and laugh at him crawling around collecting his papers? Wow, the choices. Sp what the fuck? I'm gonna help him out, man. Let me help you. <laughs> Very funny, young man. I'm serious. I'd be happy to help you collect everything up. Really? Are you from another ministry? For a newcomer? Today's my first day. And that explains it. I wonder if you'll stay that way, or just become just like the others. Anyway, thank you very much, young man. Clumsy Morris isn't the most pleasant or useful friend, but you can be sure I'll return your kindness and advice of my modest abilities. Don't mention it. I feel like I could build better relationships if I'm actually nice to people rather than, you know, kicking them or spitting them in the face. I don't think they'll do me any favors when I spit them in the face. Face, Yeah. I don't think that's the way to make friends. Is it? Has it changed? No. Probably not. Good choice. Keep in mind you can't help everyone, no matter how hard you try. Trust me, I tried. Sometimes the best choice is not to get involved. I'll keep that in mind. Can't interact- I, I can't interact with anything else. Oh. Wow. That's kind of weird. Huh. Where are we now? Oh, look Wait, I remember this woman. Hey! I remember her from the first game. Who are you? I haven't seen you before. Or maybe she just looks like her. Like, there was this lady that gave you like 5,000 influence points if you, I think, donated money? I can't remember. Yeah, something like that. Who are you? I haven't seen you before. Good afternoon, my name is Evan. I'm new. Really? I'm Serena Marvitz. Well, here's my advice, Nibby. If you don't want to lose your mind and your life, keep away from the vending machine. Let's talk about everything. Oh, we can't talk about family because we don't have influence. Tell me about the weather. Do you know what the temperature it is outside? Do I look like a thermometer? Talk about trading in the ministry. How do you make it past security? The ministry is a restricted access area. What do you think people eat in the restricted areas? Air? They used to have a whole canteen on this floor. When it was shut down to cut costs, folks started dying of starvation right at their workplaces. So the bosses had to okay selling food here. And nobody stops you? I'd love to see them try! Wow, so you're quite a big shot. Please, I was a janitor here. And you know how it goes, nobody pays attention to the hired help, so I seen and heard a lot. Once the canteen got shut down, I figured things out of I figured things out and went straight to the boss. 
They agreed on the amount of, on the amount fairly quick. The security chief, though, became a problem. So I had to remind him of what happened on the day of order a couple of day, years ago. He came to his senses pretty sharpish. Ever since, he could just smile and wave at me. What happened? <laughs> yeah, right. Want to start smuggling pies too and take my job away? Okay, well, okay, all right then. Let's end the conversation. Braided buns, unbaked pies. Bye. All right then, pies it is. Can we actually buy them? Hold on. Oh, we can't now. <laughs> George won't let me. He won't let me have pie. God damn it. Here's the common room. You'll be spending a lot of time here working or talking to the co-workers. Cool. I, I would love to do that. Hey, can I talk to this guy? Hello. My name is Evan. I'm new here. Nicholas... <laughs> Nicholas Page. <laughs> the courier. Alright, let's... Well, we can't trade with him because we don't have any influence. Okay. Uh, can we... That's your desk. Take a look around. I'll give you your first assignment as soon as you're ready. Okay, well, uh, oh, this is my desk. My bad. Let's go. You don't want to go to your desk? I can't go to my desk. Or maybe this is my desk. I don't know. Can't go over the phone. Well, he just said take a look around. So let's do that. Can't go. I'm, I'm sure we'll be able to go into these desks and, like, search for stuff. Whoa. That looks like a big office. Hi, who are you? What are you doing here? Hello. Uh, it's not a very respectful way to address an older woman, is it? I'm sorry. What are you doing here? Goodbye. Well, okay, she's not in the mood to talk. So, let's not. Let's go back to George and, uh... This is guy. Can I talk to him? Hey. Be in it. I have no time to waste on you. Okay. You met our first douche. Cool. Oh, this lady wasn't here. Reports. Talk again later. Okay, Emma. I'm sure we will, because considering you have a name and uh, yeah, we definitely will. Have you had a look around? I'll show you to your workplace. Do you already know your job duties? Uh, I mean, I don't, so... Tell me about my job. So, we're in the reception room. People working in these booths assign visitors to ministries and offices. This is the front line of, your, of our bureaucratic defense. Only the chosen ones can pass it. Cool! Do you mean us? Do you think we've been chosen? People often consider themselves to be special, but in fact, we are all the same. Two square meters of skin, 206 bones, five liters of blood, well, as long as you eat well and aren't an honorary blood donor. And eventually we all die, except for the wise leader, of course. So, the leader isn't... the Superman. O okay. Right. But before you die, you need to work hard. You'll be dealing with visitors, listening to their appeals, figuring out which forms they need and which ministries and available offices they have to go to. You gotta press the right buttons in the terminal and print out referrals and give them to visitors. Okay, I, wanna, I might ask all about this stuff, but that's gonna take a while, so I'll just skip that. I, I'm sure you guys don't want to see the whole tutorial. I'll just read it so I can do my job right. Okay, so I think that's it. Let's complete the tutorial. Everything's clear so far. In theory. Well, ah, now, let's see how much theory differs from practice. So let's start with the basics, the forms. Your task for today is to process five visitors. to get reputation for reputation points for meeting your quota. Reputation? I'd rather have money. Evan, in our ministry, reputation is much more valuable than money. Anyone can steal or find money. But reputation has to be earned. Well, he actually has a point with that. In the first game, reputation was actually really hard to get. It really was. And sometimes you could spend your reputation points for basically nothing. And miss out on something huge. So, in this game, money is actually secondary to influence, I would say. Uh, at least in my opinion. I, I think... There are, there are sometimes when, where money really matters on buying maybe like a different way to do things, but a reputation will always come in handy. It really will. Without it, you can forget about promotions, rewards, and your whole career. If you don't have enough influence in the ministry, your colleagues won't even talk to you. What a good day. I know about uh, reputation. I don't think I need anything else. Alright, yeah, let's end the conversation. I think I'm ready to start. Let's go and work. Work, work. In a bureaucratic 
job that uh, process appeals. All right, we have five forms. Let's get ready. I request that the Ministry of Labor investigate and prosecute the management of bank number 12 for incompetence. Uh, I, I, is that a request? Or I think more like complaint. Uh, hmm, labor? Oh, okay, so today is Monday, so 301 is open today. So I guess we could send him there. Maybe? I'm not exactly too sure. But alright, let's send him with 301. Let's see how this goes. Complaint. No, oh, we didn't get the right ministry. Damn. We got the... Oh, uh, what? Shut up! Don't you tell me, calm down. I took my child to see some sick nice swimming. And what did we witness here? Help naked girls swinging their legs around for public entertainment. But isn't that the whole point? Don't you try to justify this pornography? <laughs> my boy was so enraged, he was drooling all over his beard. I demand this sport be banned for threatening public morals in these ta trying times. What? Is he, ser is he serious? Okay, well, next. Hmm. Is that denunciation? Okay, I think it's complaint as well, and I would say this is culture and sports. If they try to saw see synchronized swimming. And let's see which office we can put this to. I can't see the number because of the thing. 78, okay. 78 is op not open today. 279 is open today. Let's go send him there. Or send her, sorry. Print. Okay, got it right! Yes! Got him all right! Nice! That's the shit! And we actually got money out of that. Hi, I brought the results of the butchery employee psychological survey. Their depression level skyrocketed. Why? They had no work. We should report this to the higher-ups at once. I guess this is... information. Butchery employee psychological... So this is, I would say, either... I guess social care. Because it's not science or technology. This is... I would say social care, right? Social care... And we already use that office, so... Oh, okay, so if you use an office, then you can't do anything about it. Alright, alright. So you can't use the offices again. Ah, oh, so you need to keep that in mind. Alright. So we can use 357. I think, yeah. Let's go for it. Print. Got him right again! Okay, I'm getting this! I'm getting this, guys! I can't believe it! I'm fin <laughs> finally getting it. Hello, Angela Davis, the Beaver, came up with a way of running five machines instead of just one. She ended with a bunch of free time and uses it to read at work. Uh... So is that a complaint? And what's the problem? She won't tell me how she did it! I'm gonna read at work too! Too! I'm gonna read at work too! Do something! Seriously, you wanna be lazy? Okay, well, I, I'm going to refuse you, because you are nuts. What? You know, you seriously wanted me to let that person in? I brought samples of new uniform for our military orienting teams. We're expecting new attacks on the western front lines next week, so I think they'll appreciate the new uniforms. Uh, okay. I would say that's... Huh. Is that a, so is that a request or information? I would say that's information then. And I would definitely say that's... Science and technology. Right? Is it? Or is it patriotism? Like, is this... It doesn't sound scientific. It doesn't like it doesn't make them any better soldiers or anything. I think this is just patriotism. Probably like just they're just trying to be patriotic. Hmm, what office can I send you to? 154. Let's do that. Oh, I got the ministry wrong. It was the Which one was it? The cup? I think it was Shut up for 2 seconds. I want to see culture and sports. How is that culture? Um, okay. Can I collect my father's belongings? He turned 85 and we took him to the National Euthanasia Center yesterday. But the old loon decided to take the gold watch and grandpa gave him. And that's my inheritance! 
Uh, so he's requesting. What's what are you requesting? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Is it order that he wants? Hang on. Uh, let's go to info. No, not the appeal type. That was. Uh, hang on. Yeah, information there. Responsibility toward violations, direction of spying, public peace, ordinary citizens. Nah. I don't think that's it. Running bright ideas. Controls the life of citizens from birth to death, regulates kindergartens, hospitals, for distribution of social resources. I guess I would say social care. Probably. Yeah, I, I would definitely say this is a social care stuff then. Okay, let's send you to social care. Uh, we can send you to 390. Ah, uh, we got the form wrong. Wait, oh, I didn't pick a form, did I? I forgot to pick a form, I think. Ugh. Let's see. Uh, let's do five more forms. I'm getting this. You prepared the program for City Day. Who shall I pass it on to? Uh, City Day should... Uh... Hmm. I guess it's... Information? And this one should go to Culture and Sports. And we have one available office, blah blah blah. Which. Mm, wait, we don't have. Oh, we have 279 available. There we go! Nice, we got that right. Cool. Next. Hello, I'm here to let you know that Wanda Wondercuff, the paper refuses to participate in patriotic rallies just because she has three kids to take care of. Three kids takes up a lot of time. I sent five up to the orphanage! That's what the state built them for, right? Rallies are sacred duty. Okay, you're nuts. She has a complaint about order. Uh, I can send you to 101. Oh, what? Ah, oh, I got them wrong. God damn it. I even got the ministry wrong. Shit. I guess that was patriotism. Yeah, I can see it. But I mean, I would assume like order is supposed to punish these people. So I that's why I picked order. Oh, well. I have a catalog of clothes designed to develop an art tailor shop for employees of Ironworks. It's full set from underwear to hard hats. That's it? I... Okay. I guess that's... Information? I don't know. Uh... Labor. I would say this is def definitely labor department. Because, you know, they're workers. Uh, 279 is not a... Well, 154 is open. Sprint. Yay, got him right. Nice. Alright, who's next? I descended from a well-known film director. I want to make a sequel to Strain, because the first one was a flop. Only 250 million per personal car and a trip to space as a tour. <laughs> trip to space! Yeah, you definitely need that. I'll send you there right now, man. It's the second part, so everything needs to be twice as epic. Who's in charge here? I would assume he wants a request. I would say this is culture and sports material. And let's send them to... Well, I can't actually, I can't actually send you anywhere, man. Yeah, so you're shit out of luck. All the offices are <laughs> closed. <laughs> because it's... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I have to refuse this guy, then. Hmm. Is it, can, can I send him to patriotism? No, none of the offices are open for that one either. Social care. Well, one social care is open, but I don't think that's gonna do anything. Oh, man. Well, okay, let's see if I actually got the stuff right, or at least. Oh, I, I didn't. Wait, did I pick science and technology? Oh, yeah, I picked science and technology by accident. God damn it. I came to complain about the management foundry number two. The equipment is always breaking down. Like, nobody considers lowering the production rates while it's being repaired. Okay, well, complaints, labor, and again, I don't have any place I can send you to. All the offices are goddamn closed. What the shit? Does this not have any more offices? No, I can't. Oh, wait, I. God damn it, I didn't drag. I didn't think about dragging it. Okay, 606 is open. Would have been nice to know that. 
<laughs> I didn't know. You could have told me that, George. You could have told me that I could drag all this stuff down. Ugh. Well, there's actually a little green bar here, but I can't, like... It's very hard to see. Yeah, I can't see it, because at the edge... The edge of the game blocks it out. It's only when, you, when it gets down here I can actually see the little green bar. Wow. That's... <laughs> Ouch. I did not know that. Alright, well, that's okay. Well, we can go for another form, but uh, I got... Vending machines be very future of right? Oh, so, like, that's why she doesn't like vending machines. Because it would take her out of her job. Debtors brought back to justice. Uh, 1982. So at least we know the timeline of the game. <laughs> so I'm getting a lot of... Weird emails on very weird time periods, but okay. I don't... I, I can't remember the time period of the first original game, so it's hard to tell. I'm gonna have to take a look at it once again. What's this? Effects. Oh, we have effects now. Cool. Didn't know that. So I think we can stop working. Report to Hamnets. Well, we can report to him. I feel like if I made five successful uh, forms, that's how much I would earn. So you know, I think I feel like that's enough. Let's get performance report. I met the quota. What's next? Great. Keep it up. Actually, I have nothing more to tell you about your work. You're on your way on your own now. Get settled in, meet your coworkers, and earn reputation. If you keep at it and work eight hours, work hard eight hours a day, you could become the boss and get to work twelve hours a day. Fun, isn't it exciting? I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, George. I'll mark in the journal that you have your briefing, and all the required documents are in the cart near the table. Take them to Madka Rakovich, the boss secretary. All right. Uh, talk about family. Working here is grueling, if I may ask. Do you have family? Of course I do. I have a wife and two children and a dog. And I class the apartment like everyone else. And you? And my wife and daughter. They're joining me a little later. Ask about his dog. They say it's not easy to get a dog these days. It's not so difficult. It just takes a while. You have to submit all seven types of application, pass a medical examination, go through psychological and narcotic screens, and provide excerpts from your bank statements and register of tenants. As well as an employment certificate and copies of all your papers from your passport to the title deed for your fridge. For the... F why? What? Why the fridge? Why not your toilet? Or, you know, your desk? And the neighbor's consent. Nothing special. Yeah, nothing special. Any experienced official can cope with it. How about your children? How many children do you have? Two. Aster is my proud and joy. Sherry knows all five of last year's directors by heart. At age of five, Adam is two years older. Aren't you proud of your son? The thing is that uh, he is special. What happens? Asperlagus Niger. Huh. What's that? It's an ordinary black mold. Class J houses are full of it. It's very difficult to get rid of, and consequences of spending too much time around it are. Well, meningitis is not the best thing for a three-year-old child. That's terrible. Not really. We've gotten used to it. Anyway, he was our son. And we love him. Sometimes he even recognizes us. That's depressing as fuck! And he's, like, still proud of the state? Come on, man! Your son is, like... His brain has melted! Jesus. Alright, well... Wait, hold on. Uh, Sorry. We, we could have asked more. What? Uh, ask about... Uh, okay, well, I think I'll end the conversation here. There's a lot to George that we could definitely know, but... Uh, let's talk to co-workers. Is that Morse? Oh, Peter... Peter Dong. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time to talk to you right now. Okay, Peter. There's the security guy. Can I talk to you? Hello. Oh, Nicholas... Oh, that was Nicholas, right. It looks like security. But oh well. Can we buy pie now? I don't change money, I'm not a bank. Really? I can't get pies for money? Damn, that sucks. And we still have to visit... Oh, we gotta take the documents from the cart. Oh yeah, let me back in, please. <laughs> That's a long process to get back in. We should not exit this door unless we actually have to, because it's gonna take some time getting back in. 
Where are the documents from the carts? Uh, is this the carts? Is that the carts? I think that's the cart. No, that's not the cart. Is this the cart? Let's look. Report. Signed, George Hammonds. Let's take that. Alright, yeah, I know, that's where, uh, secretary is. You can't go into his booth. Peter's booth. Hi, Emma, you want to talk now? Reports. Nope, she doesn't want to talk. Aww. And I was thinking we could be friends. How about you? Are you still a douche? Yep, you, you're still a douche. As usual. I can't go there yet. Okay, well, let's keep the reports then. I don't think we can do anything else right now. Yep. Alright. Now what? Give her the documents. George Hamnitz asked me to give you these documents. You didn't look inside, I hope? I'm not interested. I didn't know that was an option, honestly. I didn't ask if you were interested. Reading sealed papers is like when you don't have top secret clearance can cost you your freedom. Or your life. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly. But I prefer not to stick my nose into other people's business. I don't care whether you stick any of your extremities. There are rules, regulations, and instructions that must be observed if you want to stay in the ministry for more than a day. If you make mistakes, nothing will save you. Not even your name. What's wrong with my name? You're still here? Don't try my patience. I'm sorry, already leaving. She's gonna be fun. Oh, we will. Can I check that yet? Nope. At the leaders, talk to him, it's on the street. Okay, well, I'll do that in a second. Let's see if I can go into these places yet. Oh, no, I can't. Check this cart. Nope. Damn it, man, I can't do anything. Hey, Emma, you wanna talk now? No. I wanna talk to Emma! She seems cool. Well, we could work a little bit more, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> no! No, I don't wanna do that yet. Hi, Peter. No, you still can't do anything. I mean, sorry, Nicholas. Nicholas Page. He's, still, he's looking for something, isn't he? He's looking for his meds or something like that. That's why he's searching around. Okay, let's get out of here. Mm -mm. Vending machine, we can't do anything with that. Whoa, that's scary. Oh, hey, I can listen to gossip. I saw you being searched by the guards. What do they want? Who knows? They said they're looking for a bald man. But you have hair! Yeah, but I'm bald without it. <laughs> by that logic, I am too, yep. Yeah. It took a while to sort it out. Yeah, um... I mean, everyone is bald without hair on their head. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I didn't want to go back there. Oh my god. Let's go talk to George. Where is he, by the way? And what can I do with these... I think those are plants. I don't know. Wait, it's me, Clumsy Morris. Do you remember me? You helped me collect those papers when everyone else ignored me? I promised to thank you, and here we are. It's not much, but it's all I can afford. <laughs> there is no better teacher than a book. It helps you to learn new skills. Thank you, Morris. I really appreciate it. No, thank you. I've been working here for 15 years, and you're the first one who hasn't ignored me. Cool, I got a book! Sweet! How can I read the, read the book? Uh, I don't have inventory. Apparently. What was... I'm pressing I, but nothing's popping out. Maybe it's not I. Okay, well, whatever. Maybe we can check our inventory later on. Uh, effects? Nope, nothing there either. Can we look at the statue? No. I can apparently interact with it somehow. It's highlighted. Oh, the elevator. The promotion elevator. Well, let's go back out. Yeah, we got nothing. Cool. No. So, if we do find prohibited items, I'm guessing we have to hide them before we get out or, you know, make nice security guards so they can let me through. Hmm. Well, where's George? George, we got talking to do, buddy. I'm guessing he's at the statue, because the quest says at the leader's feet. He's not here? Really? Okay. Oh, is that George? Hi, George. What a good day. What do you want to talk about? Evan, 
It's just... Uh, it's about your father. The things that happened to him were just terrible. I have to tell you something. Go on. Let most 20 people in our whole country know this information. I'm taking a huge risk divulging these details to you, so I do have to ask you. Not a word to anyone. Okay. Let's have it. As you know, I was appointed to the position floor inspector several years ago, but at the same time, I was enlisted to work in Department 6. Department 6? That's a myth. No thingy person really believes in it. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world that he didn't exist. The Department 6 is considered to be a myth because that's the way their leader wanted it. More precisely, that's how your father wanted it. My father was the head of Department 6? And what were you doing there? Heimdall. A secret project helmed by, your, helmed by your father was launched at the same time. That's how we met. I was always good with numbers, so I was invited to board to assess statistical errors and their potential consequences. He didn't talk much about himself, but mentioned his son several times. His eyes lit up when he did. He was proud of you, trust me. Hmm. Let's ask about the project rather than personal stuff. What kind of project was Heimdall? Not here. Not now. It's too dangerous. We have to find a quiet place in the right time. How about tomorrow? What else did... I'll tell you everything, and you can decide what to do with the information. What else did my father say about me? We didn't communicate for the last 10 years. He mentioned that he was no longer in touch with you, but always hoped that someday you'd come join him. Why do you think so? He wrote you a letter a few days before his death. You must have known what was going to happen to him. A letter. Do you have it with you? No, I keep it at home. I didn't expect you to appear so soon. I'll give it to you tomorrow and tell you everything I know. Somewhere quiet. Thank you, George. I don't know how to thank you. Don't mention it. Evan, your father was kind to me. This is the least I can do for you. Alright, well, we'll see. George, please don't die. You're gonna tell me everything tomorrow. Don't die. Tonight. Thanks for telling me about my father, George. We'll have time to talk more. See you tomorrow. Bye, George! It was nice to meet you. Get father's letter from him next. Well, I can't do that yet. This is gonna... Oh, this is my apartment! Cool! Alright. Oh, there's somebody at... Okay! Jeez, I just arrived, man! You could've caught me in the hallway. I'm glad to see you, Evan. Do you remember me? No, I don't remember you. I'm an old friend of your father's, Evan. Alright, oh, the guy who wrote the note. You are friends. And we worked side by side for many years. I was a frequent visitor to your home, don't you remember? Your mother used to make fantastic rhubarb pies. She passed away a long time ago. I know. I was at her funeral, and at your father's funeral too. Why don't you tell me so I can say goodbye to him? I'm afraid your father's death is a complicated case. Someone at the top decided to close it quickly. That's why I came to you. We need to discuss your work. How is your first day going? Everything's changing quickly. Uh, just a week ago, I was planning to visit my father and introduce him to my family. In the end, I was late, even for his funeral. I understand, Evan. Did you ever patch things up with him? No. I was late for that, too. I'm sorry. If I had known it was that serious, I'd have arranged your appointment here much earlier. So it was you who arranged this transfer to the Ministry? It was indeed. Though not because of your good looks, as I'm sure you have guessed. Are you here alone? Where's your family? All is well. They're with Miriam's parents in Reading. Reading? That place full is full of coal mines and some pretty aggressive workers. Not the best place for a woman and her child. I realize that. I have to get the apartment ready for them as soon as possible. Alright. I'm ready to answer your questions. Hmm. Let's ask about the ministry first. Why should I work here? Why have you moved me? Well, you see, I need a man in the ministry. What for? If you can just knock out an appointment like this so easily, you already know you already have enough insiders there. Wasn't my father one of them? First of all, getting you appointed wasn't easy at all. Second, I need a man I can trust. So why? I am the head of the division that monitors the authorities, IAD. The Internal Affairs Division? Exactly right. My main goal is to find out which top shall serve the people, and which ones defame our leader's name. This information can be obtained only with the help of an insider. 
That's why I need you. Slowly but surely, you're going to climb your way up the career ladder from the very bottom. Shine a light in every one of the Ministry's dark corners. So he wants me to be a spy, basically, for him. Interesting. So we, again, we have to be an, we have to be a spy. Ask about the apartments. What kind of apartment is it? That's a typical middle class official's apartment. I arrange it for you. What am I? What about my father's property? It's been seized while the investigation's ongoing. You know, Evan, I wouldn't get my hopes up. And the apartment where we lived back when my mother was still alive? I'm afraid there are already new tenants there. Sorry about that. I wonder if one of those apartments is actually where Carl is uh, there now. Damn, Walchers. Do I own this apartment? No, Evan. You can live in it for as long as you work in the ministry. You'll still have to pay the bills, otherwise you'll be thrown out onto the streets. As an IID secret agent, you have to play by the rules to avoid any unwanted attention. I'll pay your bills today, but from tomorrow on you'll have to take care of them yourself. The Ministry of Housing is extremely strict, as long as you know. Even a minor debt can lead to arrest. Respect for labor, communal property, and all that stuff. Moreover, there are 603 people in line for the apartment I checked. Ask about our father's death. James, do you know what happened? anything about my father's death? Not much. The floor managers were involved somehow. That's all I know. And I can't conduct a full investigation. But why? After all, the investigations are for what you and your division do. Evan. I, the only insider I had in the ministry, was your father. Clearly, he discovered something very important and got taken out. All the evidence disappears if you just walk in the front door. So an investigation into the ministry and the investigation of your father's death are the same thing. Uh, well, I mean, it's not like he could do anything about it, right? So let's offer our help. I want to help you. Happy to hear it. Find some dirt on these bastards and find out who's responsible for your father's death. I'll ensure they're met with the appropriate punishment. Where should I begin? I'm no detective. Our main task is to listen to what they say. Write down everything, write everything down. And ask the right questions. Then, everything will work out. Let's begin with Pete Ferguson, your immediate superior. That wretch loves only money, you will see for yourself. And remember, the higher up you go, the more chances you'll have to make a difference. Don't miss those chances. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Call me as soon as you learn something. I... No, I don't want to tell about him. It's, he took a... It's, and my father trusted him, and he took a lot of risk at... You know, telling me all the information. So I'm not gonna rat him out. Ah, no, don't rat him out. All right. Goodbye. I mean, for all I know, he's a fanatic of the Supreme Leader, so I could trust him as much as I could throw a ball. You know, that's all. But um, let's see what we can do. We can call people. Let's see. If we can we call our wife? Uh, we can't. I wanted to call somebody. Let's see what we can do at the desk. I love Evan. Whoa. Oh, so, okay, this is where you pay the bills. So we have 750 coins, I guess. I don't know. Let's take this. We have TV. Let's go in there. We also have wardrobe and bed. What can we do with the TV? Let's watch TV. Why not? Go watch TV, Evan. Oh. Hmm. So we can actually buy movies. The Walking Boreans. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can we can waste time with this. Will that do anything? You know, hang on. I'm gonna read the book that Morris gave me if I can. Oh, I can read books. Okay, cool. How to save state property skill picking crossbar locks. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's do that shit. Let's read it. Let's read another one. 
And read one more. And one more. Now we have 20 minutes. Hmm. Alright, so we can't read anymore. Picking crossbar. I think that'll be very useful. So thank you, Morris, for giving me that. And again, where's my inventory, man? I wanna... Apparently, I don't... Like, I would love to see what I can actually read and not read. You know? Profile. We have profiles here. Oh, there we go. Inventory. Jeez. I really wish, like... To map... Oh, in the full version of the game. Okay. That's good to know. Maybe in the full version of the game, we can actually go to, like, profile that fast. Uh, because I don't know which key actually brings up profile or inventory. I'm pressing I, it's not that. Pressing tab is not it. So I'm guessing it might be available in the full version. Alright, let's go to bed. Can we actually save? Because I remember we could in the first game. But maybe because this is beta, we can't. I mean, that might make sense. Maybe, or maybe we can save with bed? Okay. Hmm. Let's go to George. Get their letter from Hemet. Please don't die, George. Please don't be mysteriously taken out. I didn't rat him out, man. So I did the good thing. Hmm. Can we search the boxes yet? Nope. Let's go through the thing. And where's George? George, you gotta greet me, man. I can't hunt you down in this entire giant ass building. It has like what, 300,000 something visitors a day and 440,000 square meters or something? You know, how the hell am I supposed to hunt you down, man? What the hell is going on? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna like this. Dear compatriots and friends, he actually fucking looks like Stalin, right? You can see that mustache with the white jacket and the hat. We have all gathered here today, hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder for a very special occasion. We want to reward someone. Our country is big, unique and beautiful. We are united by common concerns and common pleasures. United by our long-standing tradition of rewarding wealthy people in our circle of friends and wishing them the very best. We are talking about your colleague, Comrade Hemnitz. The most vital thing that is that we believe in ourselves, in our own strength, in our country. We work, we achieve many great things. I would like to sincerely thank you, dear friends, for your victories and achievements. Your understanding, your trust, your genuine heartfelt concern for our great state. Today, each of us can become a little better. To do this... We... Holy shit! It's George! What are you guys doing? We still need to treat our parents with love and gratitude, give our children and family all of our attention and care, respect our colleagues, cherish our friends, defend truth and justice, be merciful and offer help, and help those in need of support. But most importantly, we must never betray the cause of our great nation. After all, each person will be rewarded according to their deeds. All hail our great state, peace and prosperity to our great motherland. I wish you happiness, health and prosperity. Hoorah! What the fuck, man? I didn't rat him out. Who did? Shit. I knew that was gonna happen. Hemnitz was hanged in front of me. I have to ask someone who knows what's going on here. Magda, Rag Magda Rag Rakovic must know what's something. Jesus, man. Oh, poor George. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. Oh well. Oh, we can actually move this. So that's cool. Okay. Let's go to Rakovich and see what happens. Oh, we can actually search this place now. Oh, nice. We can search stuff. Empty. God damn it, pot of <laughs> You could hide something in here. I get it. Okay, so we could hide stuff. Like, let's say we found a gun in this place. We could hide that in the pot of plant and hope nobody finds it, right? I, could, I think that could work. Listen to the gossip. And I told him with that kind of reputation, I'd rather date a courier. And what did he say? He went off to earn some money, join one of those punishment squads, those are... What do you call them? You know, spy hunters. You're such a heartless bitch. I know my worth. Okay. A lot of people are cut dragons in this place. 
What's this? What can I do with this machine? Leave feedback about the machine. The PCPM42 provisional machine water machine. Uh. Hmm. I guess I could earn Martha's or no Magda's or who was it? God, I forgot her name. What was her name? Profile. Serena. Right. Serena's. If I complain about the machine. But nah, you know what? Hang on. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna complain. Yes, yes. Yes! Cho you chose the positive feedback. But I chose negative feedback. No, it didn't. Yes, I did! No, you didn't. I chose leave negative feedback. You chose positive feedback. The machine cannot be wrong. I am the machine. Thank you for your feedback. Ministry of Scientific Research. Oh, man. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Apparently the machine cannot be wrong. Okay. Because it's the machine of the state. Well, Serena, I tried, man. I'm sorry. Hey, yeah, so... Let's talk. Uh, we can't talk about the thing. Um, I don't want to spend 200 influence yet. Then again, this is beta, so it's... And I can't really save, apparently, so, you know... It's not like this is going to be a part of... The full well, it's gonna be a part of the full game, but like, I'll have this. I'll be able to decide if I want to spend that influence or not in the full game. Uh, you know what? Hang on. Let's not do this yet. I have a reward of 100 influence actually, so maybe we could spend something. Can I go into these boots yet? No. And I can't search that. Let's search this cart. Maybe we'll find something. Nope. Uh. Okay. Well, let's go over here now. Can I use the phone? Emma is using the phone. Emma! Let me use the phone, goddammit, just once. Why won't you let me use the phone, Emma? Why, huh? Why you gotta be like that? Oh, let's go to Magda. Whoa. Young man, get in line and wait. Hmm. Well, I guess we could wait. Fine, I'll wait. Sorry, to her. What do you want? Hemnitz has been executed. You come here just to tell me what everybody already knows. You're the only one I know in the whole ministry. All you need to know is who you answer to and where your workplace is. His death only makes my job harder. Why is there such an increase in your workload? Hemnitz is dead, meaning he can't do his job and therefore must be fired. When an employee is fired, they have to hand over their official seal and secret documents signed in the safety journal. How's he gonna sign the safety journal? Bring the form saying they have no books from ministry libraries in their possession. But most importantly, he did not hand over his pass. The security service must have his things. Go to the guard at the checkpoint, say that I sent you, he'll give you him his things. Okay. Fine. I'll do that. I'll desecrate my only friend's body. Well, maybe I could say Morris is my friend too. I suppose. Hey, you. You want to talk? Nope, you're still a cock dragon. Okay. A lot of cock dragons around here, so not a surprise. Talk to this guy? Nope. Hmm. Can we talk to this dude yet? No, we can't. Hmm, I can't trade with you yet. You know what? I'm going to talk to Serena and her family about her family. So that. Talk about family. Yeah, kid Serena. Why? You wanna be my dad? No thanks, I'm good with the ones I got. Just curious how you managed to do everything. What interests you? Is anyone helping you? Sure, the leader's tenor care not cons victories in the battlefront. Are you kidding? What do you mean? Can't you see I'm basking in care? Yeah, you are. How many kids do you have? Had three. One got drafted during the first veteran campaign. The war did away with him in a month. The second one got sh showed up in recently. Shell shocked. Says he got discharged. Huge fellow with baby brain. Gotta feed him like a toddler. My third one? Oh well. I'm talking too much. Gotta go. Where's your husband? Ate too many pears. What do you mean? I once brought home some pears from my youngest, traded the forum at the market, and a drunken swine had some moonshine and ate them all. And what happened? Well, I was young, strong, he felt very ill, so to say, was bleeding from the nose and all. 
That's how he died. Food poisoning. Terrible business. Um... Food poisoning. From pears. Okay. Are your parents alive? After our youngest was born, they invited us over to, to the city. They have a huge room and social housing there. So, there are five of us, but at least there's always someone to change the TV. Or IV when you're around, sorry. IV. IV. My youngest was born sick, needs meds, and I'm no nurse. All I know is how to make pies. Hmm. Well, maybe we could help her out one day. Bond lovers, get over here, wheat buns, blah blah. I can't actually buy stuff from you, apparently. Still. That's... That's sad. I can't have pies! I wanna have a pie, goddammit! Is that so much to ask? Ugh. Alright, well, collect time this is lost and found. Oh, we can't actually save! <laughs> oh, okay. Load game reception. <laughs> I just had to press escape! <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm gonna stop it here. Um... Like I said, I don't know how long it's going to go for, but I'm assuming it's at least going to be the first few days, maybe like one or two. But at the very least, what I'm going to do is next time I'll get Temnesis Pass from Lost and Found, dig around a little bit more, play around with the office a little bit more, maybe work a little bit, earn some money, see if I can pay the bills, and see if I can secure a little bit more influence, maybe trade with the uh, Nicholas Page guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's hopefully not as crazy in Nick Cage, but who knows? Maybe he might be. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.